Hey everybody. So I'm gonna record another YouTube video here. We're gonna do some uh, resin pouring today. We're gonna cover these purple geode coasters. So I just wanted to kind of show off my newly cleaned studio. This is clean, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. So there's still messes here, but everything's pretty cleaned up. This is how I store all my coasters after they're poured before they have resin on them. So those I just poured the other day. And I'm also working on some bigger canvases for a spa um, and salon in town. So I've got those canvases there. And I've got these canvases here that I was working on priming. Um, but I organized my studio this morning. So look at all the pretty paints all organized. It's still, you know, to the average, it still looks kind of messy, but this is clean. I also vacuumed everything. This used to be my gym, because um, I'm a personal trainer. Uh, my boyfriend and I run a business here in Wisconsin, um, but we moved out of our basement, this is my basement, um, to an actual facility uh, that we rent, just one-on-one -on -one usually, but uh, group training as well. But anyways, um, we're gonna be pouring some resin. So I'll show you what I do um, to ensure that this goes as smoothly as possible. So I already got all my things together. So I always use a totally clean stick for stirring the resin. Here's my scale that I use. And then here's my cup, it's always clean. A lot of times I'll reuse sticks. Um, keep them in this so you can see a lot of these are used already and I'll just reuse them. Um, and then I keep them, well, there's some dirty ones in there, I guess, but I keep all my clean ones in one cup. So um, there's some of my painting supplies, which we'll go through in a different video. Today's resin. Um, so, oh, and I also use gloves. So here's a fresh pair of gloves. Um, I go to Sam's Club and get this big, um, you know, 120 gloves in here, so I'm always stocked up. So uh, we're gonna go upstairs because it's cold down here in the basement, so I keep my um, resin upstairs. So maybe I shouldn't show my house, it's kinda messy. All right, hold on, I'll be back. All right, so here I am. Well, this is my other studio, um, my upstairs older studio. Um, so we're going to measure out some resin. So here's my gloves. So I know a lot of people do uh, resin measuring a lot different. This way has worked for me every single time. Um, and I feel like it's the most accurate, and I don't know why most people don't do it like this. So what I do is I put my cup on my scale, turn it on. I'm going with grams. So here I've got my art resin, um, my resin and my hardener. So it's a two-part. We're going to mix them one-to-one -one ratio. So we're going to probably resin like 20 coasters today. So... We're going to do 2.5 ounces for each for a total of 5 ounces. So, yeah. So, we're just going to do 2.5 on here. I almost always go over. I just went to 2.6. So, I guess <laughs> we're going to do 5.2. So, that was the resin. This is the hardener. Doesn't matter which one you pour first. It's very sticky, so you want to have gloves on from the very beginning. So I'm going to go to 5.2, hopefully. I don't mess it up. Luckily, I have a lot of coasters to resin today, so um, I have a never, well, this will be enough. I don't know. Anywho, okay, so now we're at 5.2 ounces. So now 
just gonna mix this for three minutes and we're gonna go back down to my basement studio um, so when you are mixing this you want to make sure that you really scrape the sides and the bottom so I'm gonna mix it for three minutes and uh, make sure it's completely mixed because you can't you want to make sure that it's completely mixed otherwise it I guess it'll leave like um, soft spots in your resin I've actually never had it happen thankfully so I've never had to deal with that uh, but I'll just learn from what others say and I completely mix it the way I do mix it though it's it's great for resining coasters but when I go to like pour into molds <coughs> excuse me um, whenever I mix I get a lot of bubbles I don't know if you can see how many bubbles like there's already in there so if I were gonna pour like jewelry or something which I don't really do um, yet I would probably find a smaller stick like a really thin one and then just go really slow but I'm a little bit hy hyperactive so I always mix like this and it's probably not conducive to not getting bubbles so I don't know <laughs> you have to be a little bit more patient if you don't want to have bubbles in you know when you use like silicone molds or something like that like what when I pour it on the resin, I just use a little mini blowtorch, uh, chef's torch, so all the bubbles come out right away. It doesn't really matter. Um, okay, so I'll head back down to the basement studio and we'll get started on pouring the resin. Okay, so now we're back down in my basement studio. So, I didn't plug in my light. Let me plug in my light so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. There we go. I just have a little at light. I really should get more um, of them to get light from different angles. This is pretty good though. So, okay, so we already mixed the resin quite a bit, but you want to make sure, like I said before, that you get all the, um, you scrape all the sides and scrape the bottom. You mix for a total of three minutes. That's what Art Resin recommends. I've really mainly only used Art Resin. I have used um, one other one, which I can't think of the name right now, but I really like that one too. Here, I think I have it. Um, Counterculture DIY. You see that? And I liked this one as well. Um, you have a little less working time, but that might be a good thing. It might get your, um, I don't know, there's probably benefits to that, like maybe harder resin cure, but art resin has worked so well for me. Um, maybe if I run out at some point, then I'll use the counterculture DIY again. There's Absolutely nothing wrong with that one. Okay, so I don't like the look of that one. I'm gonna do a different one. I always blow on them like just real lightly because if they've been sitting for a while, which these have been sitting for about maybe two weeks. I'm not. I can't remember when I poured these. Um, you never know if there's like little dust particles that landed on it. So okay, so. My resin is definitely thoroughly mixed. So now I just kind of let it drip right off of my stirring stick. And then, so you can't see it, but there's like thousands of little bubbles in there, which is fine. So I'm just gonna um, spread it out across the coaster. Make sure it's all over the, the top. And then, I'm going to take and I, I wet my stick down the side so then there's, it's built up here and then I go over the edge. I can't even I actually have the back of my phone to me so I can't even see what you're seeing. So hopefully 
you can see this well. I'm still learning this whole video thing. Since I started the video um, with the rear facing camera, I didn't know how to switch it over to the front facing camera mid video and I'm terrible at editing videos. So sorry, I'll get better, I promise. Um, okay, so I do the same thing on all four sides, going over the edge. making sure the edges are completely covered. And then after I'm done going over the edge, I'm actually gonna go under the bottom, outside um, border of the bottoms of the coasters because then that gives it an extra um, like layer of drop protection or just, you know, durability in general. So what I'm gonna do is now I kind of wipe the sides a little bit because there's always going to be a little bit of extra resin. So I go around like that. And then now I'm going to take and scrape it. Now, so I lost some resin. Um, and go along the outside border of the bottom because then um, that's just like another layer of resin that we're, because very few times, but I have had it happen where like the bottom maybe will chip a little bit. And, we're, you know, a normal coaster, if you were to drop it, it would shatter. So the resin already helps a lot. But if you have it um, along the bottom here, then, you know, you're that much less likely to have uh, even a chip. To chip, you wouldn't even hardly notice on these. But still, I don't want these chipping in the least. I'm going to do that around all four sides. Sorry, I might get boring and quiet. Okay, so then I always check afterwards to make sure that the top is completely covered with resin, like the corners especially, because the corners is where um, you're likely to forget. When I was very first starting off doing this, I would, you know, resin a whole set of coasters and then realize after they were cured that um, there's a little bare spot on the corner that I could have easily avoided having that. So take a little extra time and check it out and then now I use this little chef's torch um, it's well used as you can see so what I use for fuel is this butane fuel Zippo um, you can order it right on Amazon um, it's I've, I ordered three cans it seems like a year ago and they last forever so this is my last one now I'll have to order some more soon so you just hold on on the tab back here and then push the button and then turn the torch on. So I was, you know, quite far away and going really quick over it. Don't let your torch sit on a specific area for too long because resin will uh, burn. And then it's stinky and it smokes and it can't be good for your health. And actually I should really be wearing a... Um, mask right now but I don't know I'm videoing for the first time and it makes me forget things so I usually would be wearing a mask sometimes I don't I like forget but if I ever when I remember it I I wear it and I'll show you which one I use I'm sure you can get it at any like Home Depot or Menards or whatever so this is what I use so what it does it just goes over just like this and then you attach it back here. So I'm not sure if you can even hear me when I'm talking out of that so I'm just going to not do it for right now. I'm going to do a couple coasters and then I'll wear it after I get off the video. Um, you know just for safety the things that you breathe in when you're working with any you know art product like you're working with alcohol inks or acrylic paint 
you know, that can't be good to breathe in for your lungs. So I highly recommend that you get a mask like that. Um, your 10 years later self will thank you for that. So that one's done. So this is without. Hopefully you can see that. I can't tell because I can't see my screen. And this is with the resin on it. So it's beautiful like this. It's like gorgeous like this. <laughs> and obviously you have to have, I need this one. Um, you have to have, uh, you can't just leave it like this or even just put um, like a varnish on it because if you drop this, it'll break. And then obviously that's no good. So the resin really helps it to you know, last for maybe forever, but if not forever, a really long time. Because tile is, you know, if you're using tile, that is, this tile will break, it will shatter. And the tiles that I get are from, you can get them from Home Depot. I get them from Habitat for Humanity. Uh, they don't just accept donations. They also sell because that's how they build their houses. Um, and it's, you know, good, um, it's good to support them too. Plus you can get them cheaper there. Ours is only open on Saturday mornings here in Wisconsin, but I'm not sure, you know, hours of other places, but I would highly recommend you go and try to find one. And there's lots of other cool things there too. Okay, so sorry. I got cut off. <laughs> That's the bad part about not having your uh, screen towards you. So now I have my screen towards me. Um, so I'm going to do one more here. Um, think about anything that I said that, I did, that didn't get recorded, bummer. Um, so, oh I know. So I want everybody to, that's watching these to make sure you comment and let me know what things you want me to go into more detail with because I've just been doing this on my own for so long that I kind of just do my own thing and don't realize, you know, if I'm not going over something in enough um, detail. Uh, that's what I need your help with. Anything that you want to know in more detail, just comment below and I will write everything down and make sure I cover everything in future videos. Um, yeah. I think I went on a pretty good tangent earlier too in here. I was just talking to myself. Makes me sad. But now I went and deleted a bunch of videos off my phone, so it's all good. It's all good for a while. So I'm just spreading this over the edges. If you think I should have a different ca uh, camera angle, let me know. Just starting off with this, so I don't have any idea what I'm doing. So now I'm going underneath, I'm letting the resin come off the stick and then using it to spread it all over the bottom. Video, I'm definitely going to show you how to make the geode posters um, in the first place with the, with the actual acrylic paint. Um, I don't know if I'll have time to do that today, but it'll be out soon. Whatever you do, though, um, yeah, you know, watch, keep watching these videos of different artists and stuff, but start doing it on your own to start experimenting because that's the only way you're really going to learn. I used to watch so many videos and then I don't really watch many pouring videos at all anymore because I just kind of do my own thing now. Um, there's too much to learn on my own. You know, it's good to learn from others too, of course. You have to do that in the beginning and every once in a while I'll do that, but make sure that you take some time to just 
do what your own mind comes up with. Because you'll come up with some new things that nobody's ever done before, probably. At least, not that you've seen. Okay, so I went all around the edges. Now I'm going to use my torch. Um, so I know one thing that I said earlier was that this chef's torch, the very first one I ever bought, um, it broke not too long after I bought it. So I ended up ordering two more off Amazon, two different kinds. Uh, this one was not one of the one that broke. It's not the same brand. I can't tell you what brand it is, though, because it's so covered in paint that you can't see a name anywhere. But it's white, and I think this was one silver, if that helps. Um, but So I ordered two right away to make sure that if I was working on something um, and it broke again that I would have an extra and it's been over, well over a year and that one is still going strong or this one's still going strong I, that other one is up in the um, my other studio so I'm just, you know wrapping um, so these torches are pretty good just gotta you know get the right one and they're all pretty standard though just order whatever just gotta test things out so yeah, I guess um, all of these are going to be about the same. I'm going to do the same thing in all of these, so there's no use in me. I'm still recording. Let me know the questions you have below, and please subscribe. There's going to be a lot more of these videos. Uh, I look forward to teaching um, what I know. You know, there's a lot that I don't know, but I'll teach you what I do know. Um, even if you had questions about... I guess maybe stick to painting right now, but eventually I might do some videos on craft shows or like how I grew my Instagram, which I didn't do a whole lot. <laughs> um, but I mean, that might be a good topic of conversation. I'm up to, at the time I'm going to release this video, I'm at just a little over 21,000 on Instagram. So... And that's just with posting, honestly. But there have been a couple things that I've done in particular. So, yeah, just let me know what you want to know. And I'll record it eventually. Um, so, yeah, subscribe. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.